Hey everyone and welcome to my February bullet journal flip through and shop drop. So quickly before I go into all of the bullet journal spreads, these are our new t-shirt designs. So these are going to be up on Redbubble and Etsy tonight, so probably around the time that this gets uploaded. And I'm very, very excited by all of these because I've sort of gone for like a little bit of an anti-Valentine's bookish type of theme. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. And with that now out of the way, let's go on with the bullet journals. So I'm going to start first with this one, which is my general life journal. Starting off we have the opening pages, so this is my cover page for the month, so it's just a simple one with the calendar and this nice sort of highlight here with all of these books around the outside. I'm really happy with the simplicity of this one. I wanted something a little bit simple because I was thinking of doing like a Valentine's Day theme for all of the spreads, but... I decided not to because I am a cynic, quite frankly, so I just wanted to do something nice and simple, so we've just got this book decoration around the outside of it, and then just a nice little splash of colour with the highlight here and here above the month. And then obviously I've just decorated it with an Iron Man sticker because why not? Then we also have the mood tracker, it's very similar to the previous one where we've just got all of these open books where you can just colour in the covers according to your mood that month and then I've just sort of added a little bit of colour for just the opening of this with this splash of pastel pink again and then I've just added a little bit of washi tape because why not? The next page is my productivity tracker, this one is not on the shop, this is just for me. Um, I forgot to actually put the highlight on it but never mind and then I've just sort of decorated it with a bit of sparkly black washi tape down here and then the two Peters as in Peter Parker and Peter Quill stickers up here as well because I generally can't have a bullet journal spread without a sticker somewhere to do with Marvel quite frankly. Then we go on to the weekly spread, so this will be on the shop, obviously minus the pictures. Underneath here I actually have a habit tracker, but because I've got the productivity tracker in mine, I don't generally use habit trackers anymore, so I've just sort of covered it with a little Crowley and a Xerophel here, and I've sort of used OTPs of mine throughout this spread. So yeah, so we've just got very, very simple with the days of the week, so you've got a lot of space to put down whatever you need to put down each day of the week and then also this little bit of a book design here as well just for fun essentially and then I've just sort of decorated it a little bit more with this heart washi tape down here which I rarely use but I figured February would be the time to use it and then a little bit of blue and silver stars it's very much the same thing again with this one I've just changed it for Charles and Eric because they're another one of my OTPs and then I've Obviously finished it off with a little bit of washi tape. I then have John Locke as well because I'm a very big fan of John Locke. Again with a little bit of washi tape. And then the final um, weekly spread I've got here is of Captain Swan from Once Upon a Time. And I'm not going to lie, I was looking up these pictures and I suddenly went, wait a minute, I really miss Once Upon a Time and now I really want to watch it again but I've got no time. But either way, I just sort of added this one in here as well because they are one of my OTPs. They very much sort of describe my sort of character archetype essentially when it comes to my favourite types of characters and also my OTPs essentially. And also I'm always a sucker for a bad boy in a leather coat. So that always helps. And then I've just sort of added this little bit of washi tape as well to add a little bit more colour. I then have my goals and my to watch page and I've decorated it with a Druig and Makari who are my latest OTP and then also Carol and Maria. I was considering doing Carol and Valkyrie but I could only find fan art and I didn't really want to put fan art in my bullet journal because it's not mine. So I went with a movie thing instead with Carol and Maria because I also ship them as well. And then I've just got my simple like to watch list here there isn't much here because nothing's really coming out I have not put any movies on here because with the current state of the world I don't know if they're suddenly going to get pushed back or anything like um Morbius did so I'm just sort of leaving it like this and then my goals is just very very simple sort out my sleep schedule 28 and 28 refers to the graphics of thon which I'm doing um, my next video will be my TBR, so you'll see it all there. Then TikTok series means I'm going to try and review each of these 28 graphic novels I read every single day on TikTok. It'll also be going up on my reels as well on Instagram, so check that out. Also, if you want to see me vlog it, please do let me know because I may also vlog it at the same time. And then I just want to get out of my overdraft because who doesn't want to do that, especially after Christmas? 
And then I've just finished it off with one final sort of spread, which was just my spare photos essentially. So I've just got Ten and Rose who are just golds essentially and then Chloe and Lucifer from Lucifer and then on this page I'm thinking I may put a quote but I'm not sure which one yet I may do something like I'm burning up a sun just to say goodbye or I love you Chloe things like this whichever I sort of feel like but it will probably be to do with one of these couples and that is the end of my life journal and then onto my reading journal so very very simple again with a cover page this is obviously not the same one as in here I just wanted something slightly different and I also wanted to put Wonder and Vision somewhere so naturally that's where this comes in I also miss Wonder Vision a lot and they are definitely one of my OTPs so I wanted to give them an entire spread I've also got a day's red spread this will be also up on the shop and it's just simply colouring in which, which day you've read essentially so nice and simple and self-explanatory next one I have is the number of pages read spread so I have it in chunks of 50 here and then you just sort of colour it in to wherever you got to essentially and then I've added this little book decoration as well because my last one was a little bit plain and I wanted to add something to it so I thought this book design would look quite cool I actually drew this out myself and I'm very very proud of myself for it because I don't have art skills but this I was very proud of and then I've just finished it with a little T'Challa sticker because why not this is my writing tracker as well, so I'm going to write down how much I write each day and I added a little spider ham and it looks like he's hanging off this one and then I've also added spider Gwen and it looks like she's leaping off there as well. I just wanted to do something sort of spidery there essentially so that's what I came up with. I'm then skipping over the um, pages for the Avengers Reading Challenge because it does have WandaVision spoilers and I do know at least one person who will be watching this hasn't seen WandaVision yet so I decided to skip over that but this you'll be seeing a lot on my Instagram stories. This is my tracker for 28 and 28 for Graphics-a-thon and what I'm going to be doing is colouring in each of these every single day as I read a graphic novel essentially. I was going to put down my entire TBR but as you'll see in my TBR video which is coming up next week I wanted to just sort of give myself a bit of flexibility with it essentially so that's why I don't actually have pictures in here I'm just going to be sort of colouring it in as I go along and I will also be updating it on my Instagram stories as well and then finally we have my to be read spread this will be available as well obviously just without all of these book covers but this is sort of like a sneak peek into my tbr um for february but i do have on the shop a version of this it will have this book design and there's a, a few little stars coming out of here and the to be read bit at the top because i wanted to do a nice simple to be read spread as well for people to use if they want to and then I finally finished it off with the final two pictures I had which was a giant iron strange because weirdly I didn't ship it while watching Infinity War or Endgame it was when I saw the behind the scenes where these photos came out that I suddenly went yes I ship this essentially and so I had to put it in here along with the other ten and rows I had and again I'll probably put a quote here or something because I really really want to or I'll put a spread in here for the book of the month I haven't decided yet but I'm leaving it blank so I know what I'm doing and that is actually all of the spreads I've got and the rest of my shop drop everything I mentioned or at least most of it will be in the Etsy store tonight so look out for that and with that I'm going to leave this video here so I hope you enjoyed it if you did please do give me a thumbs up comment down below tell me which is your favourite spread of this month or tell me an OTP if you've got one or if you don't have that much time leave me a heart emoji down below to let me know that you were here also leave a link down below to all my social media if you want to check it out including to the comic book sanctum which is my website dedicated to Marvel comics which will have a whole ton of stuff to do with the comics I'm reading throughout February on it or if you're interested in the Etsy of the Redbubble store I'll also leave the links to those down below or if you just want to see any more of my videos please click subscribe here and over here will be the link to my previous video but until next time everyone bye